Hey friends, happy Friday. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my secret home decor accent tips. You don't want to miss it. Disclaimer before we get into the video, in case you missed my last video or you're stumbling on me for the first time and you're wondering, why does this girl sound weird? Well, in a nutshell, I had oral surgery last week. That's why I sound a little funny. So bear with me, but let's get into the video. So a few weeks ago, I did a survey and asked you guys what sort of help you wanted with Amazon Prime Day. And 61% of you said you wanted help with home decor accents. Amazon Prime Day starts July 12th through the 13th, and I will be launching a few videos to help you optimize your savings. For example, I'm gonna be creating some very special lists just for you, which will be home decor accents under $40 and under $20. So there, there's something for everybody. So today I've got 10 secret tips for you guys. Lighting accents, how to illuminate your home to bring that cozy factor year round. How to elevate your decor and give it a feminine pretty touch simply by adding greenery and ribbon. And then we're gonna get into accents of three, let them be. We'll get into that later. And then of course, layering, accenting with color, mixing vintage and new together, adding accents to get that high-end look, how to mix solids and patterns together. Then we're gonna go over how to get creative, how to brainstorm and come up with unique, fun ways to accentuate your house. And the last one, wreath it up. I know many of you were looking forward to the master bedroom redo and I had one item, one item go wrong from Amazon, um, it was a curtain rod, it wasn't threaded properly, it's ruined the whole thing. I, I don't even wanna do the room until I have that curtain rod, because I hung one yesterday and when we got to the second one, I'm like, I went to my husband, I said, I can't get it to, to go, what's wrong with this? He's like, well, it's not threaded, they didn't thread it. So we had to send it back and I'll get it over the weekend and we will get going on this next week. You do see a sneak peek behind me, more on this next week. I think lighting is one of the most important components, giving it that cozy, beautiful, comfortable feel. If your house is dark, it makes it look dingy and dirty and just sad, just sad. So I highly recommend taking lights. Lights are fairly inexpensive these days and you can really amp it up and make your house feel just bright and light and airy, cozy, happy, all the things. Okay, for example, here's a little place over here. It's kind of dark because you've got windows on either side, but it's a little bit dark right here. So how did I achieve brightness and lightness? I added a barn light from Amazon. Now, I don't have any of the kitchen or overhead lighting on. It's you know, sort of dark over here right now, but you can see this section looks rather cozy. And I'm a big fan of those. They're plug-in, so you don't have to do any kind of electrical wiring. And the best part, you can add a plug outlet to this that has a dimmer on it. And I'll link everything below, but these are very inexpensive on Amazon. You get two for the price of one. Again, they have cords, you just plug them in, and you're good to go. Now, right here on this little tabletop, I found this adorable hurricane lamp at an antique store, and I plugged it in, and I leave it on 24 seven. So whether it's day or night, it's always on, it's always cozy. I added a wreath, but I thought to myself, this little corner is a little dark in the afternoon hours and in the evenings. And I thought the best way I could illuminate it was by adding a light. Now, if I wanted to do a barn light, I would have to drill into the door. 
And so to avoid doing that, I used a shop light. A simple, simple shop light you can get at Lowe's, Target, Amazon. You plug it in. Usually you have to have an extension cord because the cord isn't super long. Um, you just plug it into an extension cord, plug it into the wall, and you are done. But look how pretty that looks. I love it. Simple, but effective. In case you didn't know, I'm, I'm literally obsessed with these little barn lights. Um, and because they're so inexpensive and because they're so easy to install, I have, I have stocked up. And so anyway, I placed it above this little baker's hutch and I love it. I love Edison bolts. Here's another tip. It, they give off this beautiful glow. So no matter the time of day, it always looks cozy, but I love it. It really takes your decor to the next level. Let's talk chandeliers for a moment. There are so many fabulous chandeliers out there on the market that are very cost effective, but they can really update your space. And when we moved into this log home, they had the most hideous pendant lighting there and I knew they had to go. And a simple, effective way to update the space is to add current looking chandeliers. So we got these, I think at Lowe's, but you can find similar ones on Amazon, very inexpensive. Just, you know, take the old ones down, put the new ones up, and you have literally taken your space up a notch and made it current. Another little secret tip, is when you have a hutch or a shelving unit, whatever, add a little light. This is a wax warmer that I use as simply an accent light. I don't put the wax melts on the inside, although I could. I use this primarily as just a little accent light and it really makes this, it gives it the wow factor. Just having some cute lanterns in different parts of your home, hanging ones. Um, it really brings a cozy factor. Also, if you have a storm and your power goes out, you can simply go to your hanging lanterns, click the lights on with uh, your battery, battery operated, you know, clicker, and you've got light. Here is another example of another hanging lantern I have. I just love having lanterns because we're in a log home, I really love a rustic touch and hanging lanterns just give that to me. So if you're looking to do something similar, add a hanging lantern. And here is yet another example of using lighting to illuminate a sign. And let me tell you, this is one of my favorite areas in the house because of how cute it looks at night. I just love it. Also too, add really cute lanterns like this, put in a silicone uh, light. It gives it an old school, old looking feel, a vintage feel, and it really brings the cozy factor. And this light right here is yet another lantern sconce that I got on Amazon that plugs right into the wall, no hard wiring required. And look how cute that display looks up top there because it's illuminated. And beyond that, I have a little light bar. Um, it's one of those little um, kitchen lights that goes underneath your cabinets. You can buy those on Amazon, place them where you want something lit up and it gives it a wonderful look. But really that's just a little bar and it has a plug. I just plug it into an outlet and it illuminates that half arch decor piece. I like to call it my architectural piece. And this stays on 24 seven. I just, I love it. And lastly, we are right by the hearth, uh, the fireplace. And on a little stool, I have a cage lamp. And I'll be honest, that stays on 24 seven. There are just certain little lights I leave on, on in the house 24 seven and it just makes us so happy. It's so cozy no matter the time of day or night. All right, next let's talk greenery and ribbon. I won't touch base on this for super long, but just real quick, adding ribbon to your decor pieces kind of ups the game a little bit, so to speak. Now I wouldn't do this a lot, just in, just be strategic about it. 
Wherever you feel a place in your home needs a pop of color, a pop of pattern, a pop of texture, add a coordinating ribbon that goes with your style and your colors. And in this case, this is like a big moss wreath. I decided to add a ticking stripe ribbon just to add a little bit of texture and dimension to this wreath. Here's a cute little lemon topiary and just adding buffalo check, any kind of ribbon that goes with your decor, kind of it gives it a fun, cute, unique look and feel. And it can be unique to you. Another way to sort of elevate your decor is place some ribbon around your apothecary jars. And it kind of gives it a really cute, fun look. Another way you can dress up your little topiaries is to add a cute little bow or just tie it on and let the, you know, the ribbon kind of drop. And it really dresses up your otherwise cute, but sort of boring topiaries and gives it a new look and feel. And you can simply do this through the seasons. For fall, put a fall bow or ribbon. Christmas, a Christmas ribbon. You know, spring or summer, if you wanna go more minimalistic, a lot of us do during the summer months. Maybe you don't put anything on it, but a ribbon is a great way to dress up your decor. I'm completely obsessed with cutting boards. So instead of having leather or jute, uh, your cutting board hanging from that, simply add a cute ribbon and drop it. It really dresses it up. Okay, let's talk greenery. Uh, in this area, there's a bookshelf. And I'll tell you what, before I put greenery and twigs up there, I was like, Boring, boring. I, I've got these wonderful twig branches I found on Amazon. They're bendable, pliable. They work beautifully in your uh, decorating ideas year round. And I just kind of bend them in, um, use curly willow branches, whatever you have on hand. And it gives it a more authentic, cool look. Inexpensive yet beautiful, different and unique. Adding greenery to your displays adds that pop of color and texture. And here's some greenery I added to these wall buckets and a pop of greenery to this little chicken. All right, let's talk kitchen decor. Uh, items of three, let them be. I have found that in a kitchen, items that are three look really good grouped together. So this is how I achieve that look. You see, I wanna conceal that electrical outlet. How am I gonna do that? With a cutting board. And I'm just leaning it. Now I'm gonna take my beautiful close, put it here. And now I've got two new cookbooks I absolutely love. The Healing Kitchen and the Simple Paleo Kitchen. For the time being, this will work. One, two, three. Items of three, let them be. By your sink, if you want to group your uh, scrub brushes and soap together, place them on a cute little riser. One, two, three, boom. Done. Right here on my little baker's rack, I've got a wood. Uh, tray. I'm just going to put it here for warmth. And now my topiary. Items of three, let them be. Okay, you know how I always say layering is the name of the game. Take items that don't necessarily go together and combine them and layer. And it really gives simple items a more unique look. And so here I have a little shutter that I got from Hobby Lobby. I added a hook from Hobby Lobby and a lantern that I got from somewhere and I made it my own. And layering was the name of the game. I just added three items for a layered look. 
And right here is also a layered look. I have an old vintage window and I added a coffee and tea sign to it simply by just using a little tack for a layered look, but it made it a one of a kind unique piece that nobody else has. So I highly, highly recommend layering your decor pieces. Here's another unique way to layer your decor pieces. So you, right here you see two big cement candle holders that I found at Home Goods. To that I added greenery that cascades down and then a modern candle holder. And it really gives it an interesting, unique look as opposed to just having a candle holder on top. So I love layering with texture with my decor pieces. So there's an idea for you. And as you can see right here, I have layered, I added a wood riser. To that, I added a lantern. And to the inside, I added a pot with some greenery. And then over here, I layered as well. I have a sign, a topiary, and a glass, um, a glass hurricane with flowers in it on top of a candle holder. So I know I already kind of touched base on this hutch, but this is a prime example of a white hutch that I have peppered with colors and textures and plates. Let me do a once over so you can see what I'm talking about. The color up there. And then when I open the inside, I have sort of peppered decor pieces behind as a backdrop. See plates. canisters and then down below I used the bottom shelf to add the pop of color but adding little pops of color subtle, subtly here and there looks great. Another inexpensive way to add subtle pops of color around your house is to do this. So this is a fern faux plant and I wanted to add a pop of yellow for summer to kind of coordinate with all the yellow I have going on in the house. So what did I do? I just stuck a few floral, floral pieces in, boom, 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 three of them. And now I've got that pop of color. It's subtle, it's easy, it's inexpensive. Let's talk adding vintage with new to give your home a really cute collected sort of look, even though you know a piece or two may be new. This, I don't know what this came off of, but this is, this is very old, it's got chicken wire, and I've added some burlap ribbon with a magnolia wreath. And just by taking something old like this, uh, really kind of dresses up your walls, it gives it a unique look, and then all you have to do is change the wreath out through the seasons. But this is kind of fun, it's different, it looks old and vintagey. I just love it. It's rustic. Same thing with this old vintage door. And I added a summer wreath from Amazon, added a um, shop light, and it brought the old in with the new. Same thing with that sign. This was an old, old window with a sign, a new sign. You put the two together, bam, you've got a new unique look. I've got an old vintage lantern mixed with some newer decor but I love the look and it's bringing the old in with the new. Let's talk about making some of your items look a little bit more high end. Um, this lantern is from, uh, was built by my friend Bella here at Bella D Designs. I love this lantern. And I think there's a misnomer where some people think that when you get a lantern, all you put in it is a candle, which is so not the case. And you can do so many things with lanterns to up the ante, so to speak. So here I've got this rustic looking topiary and I just stick it in like this. Boom. Is that not cute for summer? I love it. And it up the look as opposed to just a boring candle. Here is a rustic bird cage. 
Some people have trouble knowing what to do with these or how to decorate with them. And whenever I go to a high-end boutique, they always have gorgeous faux garden balls in them. And so that's what I've done here. It doesn't have to be extravagant. It can just add that texture, that pop of color, right where you need it. You can add a ribbon, you know, do whatever you want to do to dress it up. But don't think you just need to put one thing in there and call it a day. Have some fun with it. And here is an example of taking a lantern and I placed some daisies in there with a little bird's nest. And I think that looks darling. Let's talk patterns and colors or mixing the two. Some people think you want to keep everything perfectly coordinated. You don't have to. Let me show you. So on my sofa, I have this pillow cover from Amazon. I love it. It's a little farmhouse, a little boho. And I have this sitting as the backdrop. And because I love buffalo checks so much, I also have this pillow. Two totally different pillow covers, but they work. So I have this one sitting kind of in the corner and this one goes in front of it. And although they're two totally different patterns, it works. Me personally, I love to mix and match my plates. So this is a plate I got at Hobby Lobby years ago. And here is a linen plate. And look how cute they go together. But let's not just stop there. Don't be afraid to go big and bold with a background plate that's kind of wild and crazy. And then tame it down in the front with something a little more mellow. And the two work well together. When you use decor accents throughout your house, get creative, play around. Sometimes what you put out, you may have to step away and you'll pace back and forth and look at it and go, it's cute, but gosh, it could be better. And then all of a sudden, a few days later, something comes to mind and you're like, oh, yes. Yes, that's what it was missing. And you can add, you can take away. Just, if you don't like it, take it all down, start over. That is the beauty of decorating. You are your own artist. You are your own curator. You're gonna curate pieces and play with them until you get them fine-tuned. So don't be afraid to, I know so many women out there, they get so frustrated. There are some women who it takes a long time. And I know this from experience. I go to the stores, I see ladies pacing back and forth and they'll be talking to their friends or their daughters or their husbands and say, gosh, it just, decorating does not come easy to me. I don't know how these women do it. It just takes time. It's a lot of trial and error. You all know, I've, I've had some great designs and I've had some really bad designs. And I've had some in between. And it's all about playing and having fun and doing what you like in your home. Create your own style. Don't feel like you have to hone in on one style. I could never do that. I like way too many styles and I like to add different ones throughout my house. Rustic, French country, farmhouse, shabby chic. Those are all the things I sort of gravitate to, although I am a huge fan of coastal decor. Or add things through different seasons. So if you're a coastal girl like me, but you don't necessarily live in a coastal area, maybe do that just for the summer months, you know what I mean? So there's a thought. Lastly, wreath it up. When all else fails, if you're stuck in a rut, you want a different pop of color. If you um, want to add some texture or color, wreath it up. Add a wreath to a door, add it to a, an old rustic door, add it to your front door, your side door, um, a bedroom wall, on a shelf. There, I mean, sky's the limit, wreath it up. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed my simple decor accent tips. 
that are near and dear to my heart, they are foolproof. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Come back and see me next week. I may have videos coming for you this weekend on how to navigate Prime Day and save a ton of money. So if I can get that done in between uh, visiting with my daughter who's on her way right now, I will do it because um, I want to get you prepared for next week and I'm going to be working on my list. So stay tuned. Um, I love you all so much. Thank you for all of your wonderful comments on my little fashion show. You guys are so sweet. I just adore you. And um, I will see you guys possibly this weekend, if not next week. All right, guys. See you soon. Have a good weekend.